Unlocking the Mystery of Injective Functions, A Beginner's Guide. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an exciting mathematical concept that might sound complex at first but is incredibly useful once you get the hang of it. We're talking about injective functions. Whether you're a student, a teacher, or just someone curious about mathematics, understanding this concept is a great addition to your knowledge arsenal. So, let's break it down together. Before we tackle injective functions, it's crucial to understand what we mean by a function. In mathematics, a function is a special relationship between two sets, the domain and the codomain. For every element in the domain, the function assigns exactly one element in the codomain. Think of it as a machine, you input a value, and it gives you an output according to a specific rule. Now, let's focus on injective functions, also known as one-to-one -one functions. An injective function has a very special feature, Every element of the codomain is mapped to by at most one element of the domain. In simpler terms, no two different inputs produce the same output. This uniqueness makes injective functions particularly interesting. A common way to visualize this is by thinking about your group of friends and their birth dates. If each person has a unique birth date, then the person to birth date relationship is injective. But if two friends share the same birth date, it's not injective. Why should you care about injective functions? Well, they play a significant role in various fields of mathematics and computer science, especially in understanding equations, algorithm design, and data structure optimization. Knowing whether a function is injective helps in solving problems related to uniqueness and identity. Determining if a function is injective might seem daunting, but with a little practice, it becomes more straightforward. Here's a tip. For a function f, x, f, x, f, x, to be injective, if f, a, equals f, b, f, a, equals f, b, f, a, equals f, B, then triple A must equal BBB. This means that you can test a function's injectiveness by looking at its formula and checking if different inputs can give the same output. And there you have it, a simple guide to understanding injective functions. We hope this video has shed some light on this fascinating concept and made it more approachable for you. Remember, Mathematics is not just about numbers and equations, it's a language that helps us describe and understand the world around us. So, keep exploring, stay curious, and as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting lessons. See you in the next video.